Kill the broken girl. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back with uh, the final map, Chapter 3, Map 2 of Bloodlines. This month is Cavalier Event Quest and Marvel Counter Champions. We're going to take in the Killmonger Synergy. Um, so we're going to take in that Trinity along with Human Torch and She-Hulk for the boss. Um, and the reason for this is because uh, if we have a look through here, the lines um, have Buffett, they have Martial Discipline, um, and actually it rewards uh, Skill Attacker. So every five critical hits, Skill Attacker purifies all buffs. Uh, every time you um, purify a debuff, you gain, a, gain an aggressive fury, and every five seconds um, you get a debuff on you. Now with, um, and you have a heal block, but it, it's passive. Um, now with Killmonger and Void, you can check off debuffs a lot quicker. Um, so that's going to help us out, and then we're going to meet back up the boss, who is a mystic type, um, and she's got all sorts of unstoppable stuff, and power gain stuff, and pilfer stuff. Um, so we'll talk about uh, more a little, more about her as we get there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to clear the lane, and then we'll catch up at the boss. Alright, so here we are at the boss. I uh, was cleared mostly with Killmonger, but um, I did have heal block on that um, lane, so it kind of um, hurts a little bit. And... Um, I lost him against Human Torch right at the end, uh, so I had to use Void instead. Anyway, so this is up against Purgatory, and Purgatory is a villain, so Blade would work here, uh, it's dimensional. Uh, immune to Incinerate. Uh, immune to Incinerate, interesting. Degen and Power Gain. So let's just um, have a bit of a look. So she's got uh, Demonic Rampage, she becomes unstoppable, and Special Attacks become unstoppable. Whenever our buffs um, are nullified, expire, fail to trigger, she gains prowess, um, increasing her special by 100%. She pills for stuff, um, she's got fury, and she's got improved power gain. Uh, oh, I can't believe I don't bring quake for this. Anyway, that's fine. Um, so, her skill set, or her um, signature ability, is winning the fight during the demonic rampage or special attack instantly captures the opponent. Soul. So, Mystic Cosmic Skill is increased by 35, the potency of Tech and Mutant increased by the same percent. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't they just say all are the same? Anyway, um, so always active, she's always uh, she's energy resistant, immune to rate, um, and all attacks deal energy instead of physical damage. Uh, combat power rate is decreased by 40%, um, gains additional abilities depending on the opponent class. Uh, blood thirst to a maximum of 100. So every time she blocks basic attacks, she gains five blood thirst. So a little bit like guillotine. Blood thirst falls off slower for each buff on the opponent. Uh, gaining any blood thirst grants up to 9% for bar power. When it reaches max, she snaps into demonic rampage, locking it at a max of at max for 15 seconds, after which it resets to zero. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out this blood thirst mechanic a little bit more. So, when she's in Demonic Rampage, she has an increased attack rating. Um, it's paused through, uh, through special attacks or when she fills up bar power. Striking with the medium causes her to consume 50% of a bar of her own power and then incinerate the opponent for a lot of damage. Uh, removes perfect block chance and block proficiency. Um, special that's activated during Demonic gains her, gives her Fury and increased attack rating. Special 1 gains 25 Blood Thirst or Regen 10% of her damage if she's in Demonic Rampage. Special 2 inflicts Degen um, and is passively unblockable if she's in Demonic. And the Special 3 we're not even going to talk about. Okay, cool. So, uh, actually... I think Human Torch is going to be a really, really good matchup against her. Um, so would uh, She-Hulk and Void, probably. But we're going to just jump in with Human Torch and see um, how we do. Now, we're going to have to activate his pre-fight ability because she is Incinerate immune, but she's not Nova immune, clearly. So we are going to use that to our advantage. And... Okay. Okay, the SP1 is not that bad to evade at all, actually. So what we're going to do is we are just going to continue getting her to use that. Now, we just have to be careful that um, if you have a look up the top right there, uh, just went to 100, actually, that orange one. Um, that is Demonic Rampage. 
So now she's locked into Demonic Rampage for 15 seconds. I was going to say we just need to be careful when she gets into this, and you can see why. Because when she's in Demonic Rampage, um, it doesn't take too long, man, and she's uh, she really kicks her ass. So we'll jump back in here with um, She-Hulk. Now we're not in Cineric Immune, but we might be able to get that slow on her, make sure she doesn't go unstoppable. Um, and we do a lot of damage as well. Uh, we're just going to refresh that slow. Get her to throw that special. Now we might just hang around here for a little bit. Oh, I don't know how she gained that special. Um, okay, now we just have to be quite careful because of the Demonic Rage. She'll come in here. That's fine. So this is actually working pretty well because, because of the taunt. So She-Hulk actually did really, really well there. Uh, we just got we just got hit there right at the end, didn't we? Uh, that didn't work out too well for us. So what I'll do is um, I'll give this guy a quick heal, Void, uh, and we'll jump in with Void. I suspect. Um, I mean, She-Hulk seems really, really good. Torch would be good as well. Once. Once you get locked onto that, um, onto those specials, onto the FP1, you're kind of sweet. I almost don't want to reverse her um, power with Void because I really like the way she Hulk taunts her and draws out her SP. So for me, she Hulk is kind of the beast because she can she can deal with her unstoppable and. Um, and also she can do a lot of damage, and also she can keep her um, special circulation in check. Yeah, see the problem with this is it's it's pretty hard because you're um, you're trying to back away from her, and especially when she's got the demonic rage, and it's just it's just an absolute nightmare because it's also unblockable, it's also unstoppable. So we're gonna try our luck with Winter Soldier. I don't like our chances too much, but this is just in case I don't have to. Um, this is so I don't have to basically revive anybody else, because I'm a big fan of not having to spend um, resources. Now, in a second here, she's gonna throw her SB1 and she's gonna hit Demonic Purge. I'm fairly sure. And yeah, it's just it just does too much damage, you know. It just does too much damage. Um, oh, she's got a skill soul. When damage over time debuffs, it fires, purified, and prevents the effect of possible. So what we're gonna do, I guess, is we will. Ah, oh, look, we got a free revive. Uh, we'll revive with. Our free revive, we're going to um, do She-Hulk, and then hopefully we'll be able to get in there and finish her off. She's already in assassin range right now, so just a ton of damage pretty quick off the, off the press. Throw that exhaustion, and we actually want to get a slow in there as well, just so she doesn't go unstoppable. Uh, and we're pretty close here to finishing her off. And I reckon that's uh, that's it. So yeah, She-Hulk, Human Torch, man, they're very, very good options. Uh, evaded SP1. But, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit weirded about that Demonic Rampage. Uh, we got to figure out a way to either shut her off or kind of evade away from that. Maybe we have to play aggressive against it. Um, but as you can see here, she's not too bad, actually. Um, I actually think Chapter 3... For me, anyway, was the easiest of the three chapters um, in terms of boss fights, at least, because the bosses in the first couple of chapters were a lot more difficult, man. But anyway, hopefully this guy's helped you out if you are struggling with her. Um, if it did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and share it with your team, share it with your alliance. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Kaki Teano, bros and